you might be wondering, what can you do with a device like the iPad first generation nowadays? Well, a lot of things. All Apple devices are suited for exploring vintage applications and games. Although internet searching is not the greatest experience due to constant crashes caused by the lack of RAM, iBooks still works properly. You can drag your PDFs through iTunes and read your favorite books. Same goes with listening to music. You can use some social media through the internet browser, however, I don't suggest Safari for that. Surprisingly, the old Netflix app still works and you can watch movies even with subtitles. Many amazing games haven't been updated to newer iOS versions by the developers. This is why a device like the iPad 1 is a must buy if you're a fan of classic titles. However, what really made such devices special was the opportunity to jailbreak them. For those who don't know, by jailbreaking you can remove software restrictions imposed by the manufacturer. The jailbreak grants root access to the operating system. By doing so, you can customize your device. Unfortunately, major repositories shut down as jailbreaking fades in popularity day by day. Because of that, many tweaks that were available years ago cannot be obtained for Cydia anymore. Unless you have the deb files. If that's the case, then you can install them through iFile or Filza. Now I will explain step by step how to get the best out of an old iDevice, including some tips at the end of this video. You need iOS 5.1.1. Here you can see all the devices which are compatible with the specified iOS and with AppSync 2.0.4. You'll also need iTunes, free tools, and a 30 pin to USB cable. Connect your device to the PC with the USB cable. After downloading AppSync, press right click on the zip folder and extract the installer. Execute the exe and wait for the tool to be extracted. Open the extracted folder and launch the tool. If your device isn't recognized, reconnect the USB cable. Click on jailbreak and wait. Once the jailbreak is completed, open Cydia. Cydia does preparing file system to allow tweaks to be installed to the user partition. Open Cydia again and select the best option for you. I'm gonna select user. The Ultras no repo is no longer functional. Ignore this for now. Select complete upgrade and confirm. Press on restart springboard. Open Cydia for the third time and remove the Ultra Snow repo. To do that, go to Sources and swipe from right to left on the source which you desire to remove, then press Delete. If you try to add a repo like hack your iPhone, you'll get this pop-up. In order to fix this, you have to add a new valid certificate. Open your browser and go to cdia.invoxyplaygames.uk slash certificates. Then tap on the certificate and install it.
Now the certificate works. You'll be able to add whichever working repo you want. Go to sources, edit and add. Add this repo, repo.hackyourifon.org. Select add anyway. You'll be getting errors like this one all the time, but it doesn't affect the source or the tweaks, so don't worry. Go to changes and update the icons of the repo. In order to make apps and games work, you'll need AppSync Unified from Akemi's repo. Add this repo, cydia.akemi.ai. Tap on the repo and then on all packages. Select AppSync Unified. Here you can see that iOS 5.1.1 is supported. Now install it. Once it's done, open for you tools on your computer. Go to apps and import an application or game. I'm installing a screen recording app. There is a tweak on Cydia called Display Recorder, but I cannot obtain it anymore, so I'll be using this app instead. The installed app will appear on your device. You can select how you want to record. Higher quality equals more resources. You'll have to trade quality over performance or performance over quality. I'll go with native video size so you can see everything in higher resolution for the sake of this video. The orientation is broken. No matter what you choose, you'll have to rotate the video on landscape using a software. I'll show you how I do it later on. I'm trying to record something. When you stop the recording, the app will crash, but your recording will be saved. I'll show you a very useful tweak known by the veterans. Go to search and type iFile. You'll need iFile to import media into your library or to install deb files without the need of a computer iFile gives you full access to your jailbroken devices files. This will be your tool for advanced management and customization of files on your device. I'll show you how to import the recorded footage from record my screen into your photos with iFile. Go to applications and tap on the app, then on documents and the blue arrow, then select add to camera roll. Tip, you can reveal the app's name from iFile settings, preferences, file manager, application names. Once imported, you can watch the video directly from your photos. Additionally, I'll show you how to fix the orientation of your recorded footage by using free tools. Go to iFiles, applications, user, record my screen, then drag and drop the video on your desktop. Pour the video into your editing software to change the orientation. In my case, I have to rotate it to 180 degrees. Export your video when you're done editing. Another great tweak is Activator, useful for adding gestures to your device.
I will add the respring feature by double tapping the clock when the device is locked. A respring restarts your device's operating system without going back through the entire boot chain. This is just an example, you can assign to activator whichever gesture you like the most. Time to test it out. A respring usually takes around 10 seconds. Now I'll show you how to download some legacy apps which you can no longer download from the app store. Add this repo, cdia.invoxyplaygames.uk Tap on Invoxy Play Games repo and install Checkmate Store. For a compatibility list, visit this website. It's a website that lists some app and games that work on the iPad 1. They lead directly to the app store so you can download them. I'm downloading Chrome to show you how the tweak works. You'll need to install another version of the app because the newest version is not designed for iOS 5. As you notice, the standard YouTube app is not functional, but worry not, TubeFixers got you covered. Add Invox's beta repo for this to work, TubeFixer from his main repo didn't work for me. Add this repo, cdia.invoxyplaygames.uk slash beta. Enter the repo and scroll all the way down until you see TubeFixer for iOS. Access this website, developers.google.com slash youtube slash v3 and do exactly what I'm doing. The API key has been generated, you can copy and paste it into your device's nodes through few tools, follow the steps. Go to data, nodes and create a new node. Then paste the API key and click on save. You guessed it, you'll find your key in the nodes. Select and copy your key. Then go to settings and under extensions you'll see tube fixer. Tap on it and paste the key. Enable the toggle custom API key. Go to the YouTube app and enjoy. Here's another classic tweak which allows you to kill all background apps, it adds a special button to the app switcher view. Go to search and type kill background. Some tweaks have dependencies, like this one has app list, Cydia will install it automatically.
open up settings and then tap on kill background. Enable the first two options. Tap on the skull and all running apps will be terminated. iOS 5.1.1 doesn't have a control center like iOS 7 and above. To add something similar you can use a widget. Go to search and type NC settings. To apply the widget you'll need Dashboard X. Go to search and type the name and select the second option. Hold your screen until the apps wiggle, then hold it again until you can add the widget. Place it wherever you want. You have many options like turning on and off Wi-Fi, adjusting the volume and brightness, etc. Brightness levels are not visible while recording with the software. The YouTube app is quite slow, you might want to use Maxton Cloud Web Browser instead for watching videos. You can use your old iPad as a secondary monitor for your PC. Your device must be connected via cable. Download the PC software at easyandlightcom and slash 2 usb The iPad can run as a second monitor with reliable speed. I tried to run Prince of Persia while you're within HD 1.0.0, which is exclusive for the iPad. It's playable, but it crashes a lot during cutscenes on iOS 5.1.1. It might run better on older iOS versions. I suggest you use the version 1.0.8, which is for iPhone iPod Touch instead, even if you play the game at a lower resolution. You can find these old games at archive.org. If some of your games freeze, there's a simple fix for that. Reboot your device by holding the home and power button at the same time. Or reboot your device through free tools. Let me know in the comments if you know other working tweaks for iOS 5.1.1 and which apps or games do you like the most. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.